Let's go have a look at my latest night lighting edits. I've cut down a lot of what was inside of uh, the various effects that are being used. I found that I don't think that they're actually really needed. I have done we want to So, and we're going to go see what those edits look like right now. Positive rate. Let's go have a look. 400. Bank angle. Bank angle. I got all the angles, baby. 1,000. Helicopter uh, 16 Tango Victor flight. That uh, company traffic is another helicopter about. Now the balloon looks so much better now. It's not super oversaturated. Kind of spread it out between more buildings. Being that I've lowered the threshold, so it will allow a little bit more. And this looks good to me. I don't know what the camera's picking up. But this is looking very good now. And see what the bloom looks like on the highways and then see what it looks like when we get a little bit lower coming in. But that's no it goes to the right. And this is my Mercury uh, bright set of lights that I'm using along with Reshade. And I'll get these new settings of Reshade included. Uh, just as soon as I finalize them, but I think these are going to be it. Um, a lot less uh, impact on the system because I'm using just uh, two effects. I think I was using like five or eight on the last go around. So, but let's head on up and see what it looks like. For put in here. Yeah. Swing around Teterboro, come back and take a look at the airport and the uh, highway surrounding it on the way in. It looks nice on the climb out. Would be nice if I had a wing view to give you. Especially on the landings. A little shot in the corner. No, we don't need that. Thousand to go. FAA Mobile zero 05, uh, Chico Tower traffic will be a, a light Chicago area uh, departing runway 31. Alright, uh, let's get the nose down and we'll turn to I think in New York, New Jersey, it's the hardest hitting area on my system with reshade and everything up full blast, so this is the place to check. The lights seem to pop now a little bit. They don't have that look like they just painted on colors anymore. Reshade gives it that effect. I'm just not getting from Expo. And I'm going to try something. And if it does work the way I think it's going to work, those of you that have a difficulty with Reshade, you may be able to get it up and running without issues. As you can see, I've been running Reshade. Uh, numerous airports, numerous landings, numerous locations, and I've had no issues whatsoever now. And that right computer would not take reshade for anything. It would crash. Um, it wouldn't load up uh, X-Plane at all. It wouldn't even get to the menu. Um, and I tried something, and it worked. So I'm going to go back to the way it was, and see if I have an issue. If I do, and I'm going to try that fix again, and if it works, 
then I'll put out a video and I'll show you what I did. Alright. There's no, no Jersey basic right here. That's an AI aircraft just left to the left there. Here's another one. They don't look so blown out of proportions anymore, but you can see the red, the green, the white, the flashing lights. Looks pretty good. Let me get over here. We'll come in like we're landing. That looks good. Doesn't look oversaturated. You can see the streets. I can see all the parked cars down there. I think I may have to make those cars a little bit bigger. They look a little bit too small. All right, let's have a look at these highways coming in over. I want to see just how bad the bloom gets when we get close. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. November 4, Papa Foxtrot Tower, runway 31 right, cleared for takeoff. Northwest bound departure is approved. Offset from the turn line for opposite direction. Let's see if the bloom gets super crazy when we get close to the ground. Hopefully it won't. Highway here, bloom looks pretty decent. And it kind of changes. I have some, then there's none, then it kind of fades out. Looks pretty good. So, let's get nice and low here. One of the issues I was having, I was just getting like bloom out when you get close to the lights and the ground. So, let's see what this looks like. I'm not going to land. City lighting is getting nice and bright as we get close to it. But it doesn't seem to be blooming out all that much. And it usually does it in the corners first. So, that looks pretty good. Let's see what these lights look like here. Here's an aircraft right there passing by. Approach lights look good. They don't look too overblown. My lighting here doesn't look all that bad. It's looking pretty decent. Long landing, long landing, 5,000 feet remaining. 4,000 remaining, 3,000 remaining, 2,000 remaining. All right. Let's get a good look at this aircraft coming in. I'll show you what the AI aircraft look like. Hopefully that is in view. There's three of them coming in right there, one after the other. Hopefully I have them in view. You can see the landing lights on them. And we're going to get real close to them and see just how bright these lights get. Unless they decide to run away from us. I hope that's in view. Traffic, traffic. Uh, Bucks 1984, traffic 12 o'clock. Approximately uh, a mile and a half altitude in the Cape 6,000. Get a little closer to you. So there's the lights right there on the AI aircraft. A little bit of flashing going on there. But they're not oversaturated super big anymore. Increase climb. Increase climb. All right, I'm going to go back to work on these lights. Um, but they're looking pretty good. They're pretty close to what I'm looking for. All right, everybody. I'll catch you on my next run. FAA Mobile uh, zero 05, traffic will be assessed and departing from the runway. Sir, if you're still uh, south of the oh, runoff area, oh, or south oh, of the threshold. Oh, up. Up. Oh, up. FAA Mobile zero 05, oh, I am getting some flickering going on, but I'm really not worried about that just yet. I got everything full blast here, so. That looks beautiful. Might be a little. Gotta do a little bit of clarity, maybe. I gotta take a closer look. The only thing, bad thing, is if I freeze this, it kind of changes the image. So it's hard for me to get a, a good uh, idea. I can't just freeze it at a spot. And another thing is when you make a change and reshade, um, you really need to bring X plane down and bring it back up again. What you see is not what you may get next go around. I found that out the hard way. Had all three of these looking beautiful. I turned them off, turned them back on. I said, what happened? Everything was just so out of whack.
So, all right, everybody, my voice is going already. White lights look good. Right, let's get this yellow over here. These were a little bit too much uh, oversaturated. These buildings here. But that doesn't look too bad now. That doesn't look that bad. When you get super close to it, yeah, but we're not going to be getting that close to these buildings. We have to tweak the tent a little bit. We'll see. Uh, you know what? Let's get a look at these skyscrapers first. That's JFK out in the distance there. And now you can't even see LaGuardia with the buildings blocking it. I still have lights that kind of pop like flash bulbs. Um, they're not as many with reshade. I think. I think more than likely because everything is a little lighter and brighter. Uh, let's get in and have a look at Manhattan. There's Brooklyn and Queens. Alright, Manhattan, let's have a look here. That looks good to my eyesight. Maybe a touch more. Touch more bloom. A little clarity. But I think that's looking pretty decent. As you can see, I got rid of that big white dot that used to pop up on the top of the buildings. Got a nice flash of red light up there now. Let's give you a good look down there. Here's Manhattan. Empire State Building. With the observation deck, the observation deck looks pretty decent now. It doesn't look so blown out of proportion. It was really super saturated. One of the lights I had an issue with trying to get dialed in. But that is looking rather nice. Get my head out of the way there. Here's LaGuardia off to the right. Doesn't stick out like a sore thumb anymore. It blends in with the city. That's wrapped around it. Here we go. There's Central Park. Nice and dark. And loop to the right real quick. We'll take a look at LaGuardia, see how it blends in. And then I'm going to get back to work. There's LaGuardia right there. Look at that. She blends in beautiful now. Doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Very nice. One thousand. Hi, right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this little tour. I'm still working on them because I really enjoy flying at night because it looks X plane looks closer to real at night than it does in the daytime. And it all has to do with shadows and lights and everything else. And you have a lot more you can play with at night than you can in the daytime. So that's why I prefer it. It just looks so great. All right, everybody. I'll catch you later.